37 million Ashley Madison users hacked, free hacking team malware scanner, Google Play Store compromised. Happy Monday, people. All that and more coming up now on ThreatWire. Greetings, I'm Patrick Norton, and this is ThreatWire for July 20th, 2015, your summary of the threats to our security, privacy, and internet freedom. Huge thanks to everyone who watches this show three times a week and supports us at patreon.com slash threatwire. Oh my goodness, I don't even know where to begin this morning, so I'll start with Ashley Madison. The cheating site has been hacked. YOLO! Apparently a good 37 million folks have signed up for AshleyMadison.com. That's the cheating site. Is that a judgment calling a site to set up affairs a cheating site? That says, quote, life is short, have an affair. And a group calling itself the Impact Team claims to have completely compromised Avid Life Media, the Canadian firm that owns and runs AshleyMadison.com, claiming to have, quote, the company's user databases, financial records and other proprietary information. That's a quote from Krebs on security. So the hackers started posting chunks of that information online and then a manifesto posted with the data, quote, Avid Life Media has been instructed to take Ashley Madison and establish men offline permanently in all forms or we will release all customer records including profiles with all the customer's secret sexual fantasies and matching credit card transactions, real names and addresses, and employee documents and emails. The other websites may stay online. How generous. ALM's chief executive, Noel Biderman, confirmed the hack to Krebs on security. And Krebs quotes an impact team manifesto posted with the stolen data that it, what's where the other stuff came from, uh, that it, uh, they decided to publish the information in response to alleged lies ALM told its customers about a service that allows members to completely erase their profile information for a $19 fee. Apparently, ALM's collected $1.7 million in those fees, but hasn't really erased anything. Uh-oh. The latest nasty found hidden in the 400 gigabytes of data stolen from hacking team is not, surprise, a flash zero-day exploit. Woohoo! Unfortunately, what Trend Micro discovered was an, quote, Android backdoor capable of bypassing the Google Play screening process. Now, you had to actually download an app, B News, to open up your Android system, and Google has pulled the app from the uh, Google Play Store. Security Week's article, Google Play Checks Bypassed by Hacking Team Android Backdoor, which is where we found out about this, adds that, quote, the backdoor, which Trend Micro detects as Android OS underscore HT Ben EWS dot A. I guess that would be Android OS underscore HT news a you made it past the Google Play filtering process because it doesn't contain any exploit code and it requests only three permissions during installation, unquote. Which makes me wonder, just exactly what could somebody with access to a much more popular application do by inserting a few lines of code that looked relatively mild? Note to self, make sure I've got my security software running on my Android phone. I might suggest you do the same. And while I'm talking hacking team this fine Monday morning, I caught an article up on Kapersky Lab's Threat Post blog. It's really interesting. It's about a tool called Milano. Quote, researchers at Rook Security have released a new tool that looks for hacking team malware on target systems and also have published a set of indicators of compromise to help organizations look for signs of an infection from the intrusion software, end quote. I.e., if you're worried about hacking team, you want to check this out. The tool is called Milano. The Chrome browser really didn't want me to keep it, flagged it as something potentially nefarious and asked me to wipe it before I opened it. It was pretty interesting, me and Chrome, mano e mano, trying to actually open the software I downloaded. Thank you, Chrome, for looking after me. I just ran a quick scan with it on my Windows system. It rocks the DOS-style interface Milano does. we got links in the show notes if you would like more information on what the software covers. Before I go, I want to give a huge thanks to everyone who supported the show, like you watching it right now, and an even bigger thanks to everyone who supports the show at patreon.com slash threatwire. If you find value from this episode and can spare a few cents an episode, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash threatwire, and we may even feature your durable furry creatures like these ones, durable, durable furry creatures. You like dags? Like these ones? Or cats? Yeah? Cute, huh? Look, our plan is to do threat wire three times a week. That's our milestone goal. Uh, and we can only make that milestone goal if you help support us. It's going to be Darren Kitchen, Shannon Morrison, myself. We're giving you a taste of what we want to keep coming. Uh, and we hope you'll contribute to help keep this coming completely independent and ad-free. If you can't donate, a like, a share, and a subscribe goes a very long way, too. You can find all our episodes, links to our social networks, and other ways to contribute over at ThreatWire.net. With that, I'm Patrick Norton, and I will see you on the internets. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.